Good day. Welcome to Insurance Mondays. My name is Paul Edwards, one of the owners of Possibility Plus Financial Services. If you need any form of life insurance, you can call me now at 321-557-1155. I can help you with obtaining term life, whole life, universal life, final expense, mortgage or key man insurance. If you need annuities, I can help you with your retirement planning with annuities and with long-term care. You can call me now at 321-557-1155. As I said before, my name is Paul Edwards. And what I'll continue to do today is to answer some of the popular questions that my clients are asking. I started this three weeks ago, and the first question was, can I get life insurance if I have cancer? And the answer to that was yes. You can get guaranteed life insurance. Can I get insurance on my parents? And again, the answer to that is yes. Can I get life insurance on my boyfriend or my girlfriend? And the answer to that is yes. But, there's a but now. You have to show um, that there will be a fine, you will be at a financial disadvantage if your boyfriend or girlfriend was to pass. And we call that an insurable interest. The fourth question, can I get life insurance on anyone? And the answer to that is no. Because unless there is an insurable interest, you cannot get life insurance on someone. The fifth question, can I get life insurance on my ex and my ex-husband or my ex-wife? And the answer is yes, but it depends. Again, it has to show that there is insurable interest. Many times when they are divorced, the court will order the husband or the wife to take out a life insurance and to make their ex the beneficiaries, especially when there is alimony or there is uh, money that has to go towards the kids. Question number six. Can I get life insurance at age 70? And the, the answer is yes. You can With some insurance companies, you can get life insurance up to age 90. Question number seven, can I get life insurance on my dog and my pet? And the answer is yes. You do have companies now that offer pet mortality and theft insurance. And then the next question that we dealt with, can I get life insurance on someone without knowing them? And then the and in most cases, again, the answer is without them knowing. So can I get insurance on someone without that person knowing? And the answer to that is depends. Parents can take out life insurance on their kids without their kids knowing because they are under age. Once they are under the age, they, 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 once they are under the age within your state, then parents can take out life insurance on your kids without them knowing. But once they are over the age, they have to know because they have to give consent. They have to sign the forms. And again, remember, there has to be insurable interest. Can I get life insurance without a social security number? And the answer to that is yes. Most companies, many companies, allow you to use another form of government ID to take out your life in insurance policy. So the answer to that is yes. Can I get life insurance on my brother? Again, you have to show insurable interest. That's what must be demonstrated. So it will always be based on the specific circumstances. 
and it may vary from insurer to insurer. So when it comes to, to getting out life insurance, right? It it's always going to be to, to depend on insurable interest and also on the company because different companies have have different rules. Another question I got recently is what is universal life insurance? So universal life insurance, or we call it IUL, is one of the, the, the two main types of permanent life insurance. So you, you have universal life insurance and you have whole life, life insurance. Both of them can last for the rest of your life while providing um, cash value with tax advantages. Universal life also gives you the flexibility to raise or lower your premiums within certain limits. So let me explain that to you now. And universal life can also cost less than whole life. But it offers fewer guarantees than whole life. Listen to, let me explain it to you. With a whole life policy, the premiums are set and fixed. So a person takes out, for example, 100,000 coverage in whole life, and they tell you that the premium is X. That is going to be the premium for the life of the policy. That's how a whole life policy works. And with a whole, and but with a universal life policy, you have what they call different premium points. So with a universal life policy, you have what is called a minimum base premium. That minimum base premium guarantees the policy remains in force for 15 years. That's what that minimum base policy does. Then you have another base policy and then a base premium that guarantees, and this is how most companies do it, guarantees that the policy will last for until you're about age 90. Then you have what is called the targeted, targeted premium, which would guarantee that the policy goes up to age 121. So with a universal life policy, it gives you flexibility in terms of how much you pay in your premiums. And that's why many businesses use a universal life policy because they, they, they pay more premium when their cash flow is good. And sometimes when, there's a, when there might be a problem and cash flow is low, then they are able to reduce the premiums. So those are some strategies that persons use. But a universal life policy, once you properly fund it, is an excellent policy. You know, as we said, from the first day the policy is in effect, a universal life can provide an income tax-free debt benefit to help protect your family's well-being. As long as you keep a positive cash flow amount, your coverage cannot be canceled. So, with a universal life policy, what happens is it builds cash value. But as we age with every passing year, the cost of insurance increases. So there's going to reach a point sometimes in your universal life policy that your cost of insurance is, is higher than the premiums you are paying. Your annual cost of insurance is higher than the premiums you are paying. So what do you to, to keep your premium level, what the company begins to do is they begin to take some of the cash value 
to pay to make up the difference and, and so that you don't have to increase your payment. So if there comes a time that there is not sufficient cash value in your policy, then they are going to ask you to increase your 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 premium payments. Uh, and so we are when you do a universal life policy, it must always be properly structured so that the there's no need for that increase in, in premium. And once it is structured properly, a universal life policy is an excellent, excellent, excellent policy to have. So universal life policy let you raise or lower your payments within certain limits as your circumstances change. So I'm telling you, you might be paying your premium at X and something might have happened. You might have lost a job and you can't afford to pay X. And, and so the universal life policy, they can allow you to reduce your payment and, and until you get back on your feet. The cash value grows on tax deferred basis. So no taxes are owed on current earning or interest. Also, the debt benefit is paid income tax free to the beneficiaries. The flexibility and freedom of universal life also means that there are fewer guarantees. In a whole life policy, the premiums, cash value growth, and debt benefits are guaranteed not to change. With universal life, all those things are designed to be flexible. However, the amount of premium you pay affects cash value growth. And as you use funds from the cash value, it will affect the amount your family receives when you are gone. It could cause the policy to lapse. So you should stay in contact with your financial professional to help make sure your policy continue to meet your needs. This is what I'm saying. It's very important. It's very, very important. So here is what I call and to determine if a universal life policy is right for you. If you want lifelong protection, you should get a whole life or a universal life. If you want to build tax advantage cash value, you can get a whole life or a universal life. If you want access to the cash value while you're alive, you can get a whole life or a universal life. If you want flexibility to raise or lower your premiums, a universal life. If you want affordable premium coverage, if you want a lower cost per month, but permanent coverage, a universal life, generally the cost per month is lower. If you want guaranteed cash value growth, then a whole life is better. If you want a guaranteed debt benefit, a whole life is better. If you want a guaranteed level premium, a whole life or term is better. So those are, are some of the things that we have to factor in when we determine which type of policy we want. I always say to my clients, when it comes to determining a policy that you need, is based on the client's goals or objectives. When we know your goals and objectives, then we will determine whether a term is best, a universal life policy is best, a index universal life policy is best, or a whole life policy, or even a variable universal life policy. Are a, there are many types. So it is based on having that discussion with you. So any questions you have concerning life insurance, you can call me today at 
557 1155. My name is Paul Edwards, one of the owners of Possibility Plus Financial Services. Have a blessed day. God willing, life sparing. I will see you again on Insurance Fridays.